This video discusses the basic height map workflow from TerraSculptor to Unity Engine 2019 through 2020. Launch TerraSculptor and make sure that the software and world settings are set up for working with the Unity game engine. On the Tools menu, choose Settings and on the Dimensions tab, enable the Unity Engine dimensions. This will add the default Unity Terrain Dimension set to the new and resample dialogs. On the Tools menu, choose Settings and on the Units tab, choose Unity in the presets. This will adjust the TerraSculptor world to match Unity so that the 3D Editor previews match up between the software applications. Quickly navigating the Unity 3D Editor is with the mouse right button plus WASD keys for camera XZ axis movement and QE keys for Y elevation. The terrain object height map resolution is typically specified as power of 2 plus 1 dimensions according to the Unity manual. This means that typical terrain dimensions will be 65, 129, 257, 513, 1025, 2049, 4097, and 8193. The raw height map file format also does not easily support non-square resolutions, so it will be easier to work with a square height map with equal width and length. The terrain object's mess resolution properties for terrain width, terrain length, and terrain height determine the spacing of the mesh vertices. For example, if the height map dimensions are 513 by 513 and the terrain width and length are set to 1024 by 1024, then each quad in the terrain mesh will be two Unity World units in size. The terrain width and terrain length properties are typically set to the same value as the height map dimensions minus one, unless you require smaller or larger quads than the default world units. When importing raw height maps into Unity, the raw data is typically a square region of a power of 2 plus 1 dimension in 16-bit grayscale. The lowest raw value of 0 will be at the 3D Editor Y level of the world grid and the rest of the terrain altitude extending above the world grid. So for example, if you are importing a raw height map of an island, the ocean area that is at an altitude of 0 will be level with the Unity world grid. We can also see this in the demo height map that I have created, which is a Gaussian bell that starts at the altitude of zero. Create your desired height map within TerraSculptor or import and use a digital elevation model file. Make sure that your height map is power of two plus one in dimensions. If not, use the resample modifier to adjust it. Prior to exporting, you should rebase the height map so that the lowest altitude is zero, so choose altitude bottom on the modify menu. If you don't do this, then the terrain will be floating high in the air in the Unity scene. Optionally, you can also flip the height map to match the Unity axis setup, so choose flip vertically on the adjust menu. If you don't flip the height map in TerraSculptor, then you will have to choose the flip vertically option in the Unity importer. Export the height map by choosing Export Terrain on the File menu and choosing Raw Binary as the file type. On the Raw Export dialog, set the data type to 16-bit short unsigned, set the conversion to normalize, and set the byte order to Intel format. Also, uncheck the Save NIST parameter file option since Unity does not support those. If you wish to retain the same terrain altitude range, set the conversion to Scale. In Unity, add a terrain by right-clicking on the Scene Hierarchy, 3D Object Flyout Menu, and Terrain Item. Make sure that the terrain is selected in the Editor window and click on the Terrain Settings gear icon on the Inspector panel. 
On the Texture Resolutions group, click on Raw Import, select the file for import, verify the import properties of 16 bits and windows, and the correct height map dimensions. Optionally, enable Flip Vertically if you didn't flip the height map in TerraSculptor before exporting, and click on the Import button. The terrain mesh will update to the height map data. If the terrain mesh is not the correct size or shape, do not re-import the height map. Simply change the terrain object mesh resolution properties for terrain width, terrain length, and terrain height. Terrain width and terrain length adjust the distance between the mesh quad vertices along the X and Z axes. Setting the terrain width and terrain length to the same value as the height map dimensions minus one results in a terrain mesh with quads that are one world unit in size. The terrain height adjusts the distance between the mesh vertices along the y-axis, making the terrain shorter or taller in altitude. In future videos, I will discuss such items as RGBAK splat maps with Unity and other TerraSculptor to Unity workflow features.